Good evening. Please state your name, age, and weight. Felix Nast, age 41 years, 58 kilos. Ulrich Schultz, age 29, 71 kilos. Hans Berlitz, age 19, 68 kilos. Very good. You gentlemen are about to undergo an experiment that will benefit the soldiers of the Soviet Union. You will be given a gas that our nation's leading scientists have been working on. All we know is that it is not lethal and you will be in no physical harm throughout the duration of the experiment. Upon completion of this experiment, you will be granted your freedom and returned to your homeland. Do you comply? Reminder, those who do not comply will be immediately executed for your crimes against humanity and the Soviet Union. I'll ask you once more, gentlemen. Do you comply? Very good. We will administer the gas in a few moments. Please, get acquainted with your new home. You will all notice that you have enough food for the duration of the experiment. You will find comfort in the floor as you had in your cell. Books for entertainment, a toilet for the obvious. Also, no one will be entering the room once the gas has been released. So it is up to you to keep your living quarters livable. The gas has been administered. different on the side of the gas. Day one, the first batch of gas has been released. Normal behavior resumes. Boy, your name is Hans? Yes. Oh, Hans. It is so nice to see us a face as a boy who's been crying in the cell next to me for the past three months. Oh, come on now. Don't you think we should all be friends while we are here? Let me guess. Your father was a good, hard-working man. Taken too soon. Your mother was a housekeeper. And you were the youngest of four children. Surrender the park. You joined the war to prove something of yourself, only to end up a victim of circumstance. Am I right? I was the youngest of three children. Ah, I was close. What about you? Ulrich, is it? Well, Hans, I will tell you my story if you tell me yours. Okay. Well, I was a top SS scientist specializing in information extraction and experimentation. I took great pride in my work. It was almost therapeutic. I can still see his uh, faces as a man. I extracted fingernails, teeth. How quickly they would rat out their own families to save their lives. Such lowly dogs.
Your turn. I was stationed just outside of Berlin. I didn't see much of the war, just the end of it. I was appointed guard duty one night, and I was supposed to stay awake for the duration of the night. But I fell asleep. When I awoke, everyone was slaughtered. And I ran as fast and as far as I could, but <laughs> they caught me. Took me to a prison where I sat for three months until I ended up here. I saw it as much. What's your story? The gas has been active for four days, and although none of the men have slept for the past four days, normal behavior resumes. The gas seems to be quite effective. These anatomy books are embarrassingly inaccurate. It's no fun to see these Russians are so barbaric. They killed your father, didn't they? Peter! Our excels! He looks nice down now! We're gonna end the experiment and you will be shot! Stop this or they will shoot you! Watch! has been active for seven days. Normal behavior resumes outside of the outburst on day four. The men have still yet to sleep. Um, we have time for some personal business. Yes. Yesterday. I almost killed Felix. What's happened with you? You know what I mean. No one intervened. No one stopped you. You just... You just looked at Zavol and dropped him. What did you see? Please tell me your story. <laughs> Everyone's got a story. I was a soldier. And like you, not a very good one. <laughs> I wasn't cool and what I did, but 
What I stood for was damning enough, I suppose. What we all stood for was damning enough. I was stationed at a camp, a labor camp. My father was the commanding officer of the camp. He was a good man, as I remember from my childhood, but something changed in him. I went to his office one day to deliver a daily report. I opened the door and just his back turned to me. I called to him, but he didn't answer. He just puts barrel above his luga. And he... <laughs> if there was one thing I could have asked him, it would be why. Was it fear? Was it remorse? Was it grief? That's why I try. Ulrich. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I haven't slept in days. None of us have. It must be what the gas does. It keeps you awake. They're going to use it on their soldiers so they don't require sleep. I can't do this anymore. I can't breathe in my own skin. I... I have to get out of here. Just think of your freedom. That's what's keeping me going. You really think we'll be gifted freedom after this? Day 12. Hans has been screaming for the past seven hours. What seems strange is that the other men have not reacted in any way. Hans has been screaming now for the past 12 hours. His screams have been replaced with a faint whimper. It seems he has permanently destroyed his vocal cords. Sleep Experiment, Day 12, June 14, 1945. End log. Ah, Felix. You've come to say hello. Felix, Felix, Felix. Experiment day 15. Day 15. 
Oh. A sleep experiment. Oh. Demand the papers are moved from the window! Felix! Remove the paper! Felix! Day 15. Felix has covered the port window with paper from the book in what appears to be his own excrement. Strange noises have been coming from inside the cell but the oxygen levels show that the men are still awake and alive. I'm not sure how much longer the experiment can go on. Experiment day 15, June 17th, 1945. Gentlemen, the experiment is over. We are turning off the gas and opening the chamber. Stand back against the wall, or you will be shot. Upon examination, you will be freed. Me, no longer wish to be freed. Tried to other words, but his torn vocal cords allowed only a weak whisper. After fighting to stay awake under the anesthesia, he died on the operating table. 11.45 p.m. Felix was sent to the emergency room. No. He begged to be put back on the gas and screamed in agonizing pain when we brought the anesthesia anywhere near him. We then attempted the surgery without it. He died the second his eyes closed from fatigue. 12.14 a.m. I left Auric in the chamber to be alone with me. I needed answers. Auric. What happened? What did you do? Doctor, sicker than his patients. The boy allowing his own kind to pass. 
without the fortitude of unconsciousness. All men will share this fate. What are you? I'm awake. I'm awake. Whether or not you believe these men deserve this fate is irrelevant. No man can decide this. I only hope the world will forgive my part in this experiment. What these men did will be forever written in history. But I can still erase what I've done. End log. June 22nd, 1945.